Hello curious minds and welcome back to Med Science Simplified with Dr. Ziggy. Today we're diving into a topic many of you have asked about, the differences between CT scans and MRIs. I am a board certified and actively practicing radiologist, so let's address the top five questions I've gotten from my patients, families and friends over time about these two imaging modalities, CT scans and MRIs. What are the main differences between CT and MRI? CT or computed tomography scans, they use multiple x-rays to create this three-dimensional detailed imaging of your body. They are excellent for visualizing bones, blood vessels, and internal organs in the chest and abdomen. It's super fast, so incredibly useful in emergency situations where the imaging needs to be obtained very quickly. MRI or magnetic resonance imaging, on the other hand, uses magnetic fields and radio waves to create this high detailed three-dimensional images of your organs and tissues. It's uh, particularly great for imaging the brain, uh, spinal cord, and nerves. Plus, it's also great for soft tissues like muscles and ligaments. Which is safer, CT or MRI? Well, CT scans involve a small amount of radiation, but the risk is generally low. MRI doesn't use radiation, but can be challenging for some people with history of claustrophobia or metal implants. And we'll clarify this a little later. Both are generally considered safe and effective for medical imaging. How does my doctor choose between CT or MRI? Hmm. This mainly depends on what your doctor is looking for, taking into consideration your specific clinical picture. Finding the right scan is like picking out a personalized outfit. It needs to fit you perfectly. That's how we make sure that you get the care that is just right for you. That being said, CT scans are better for detecting fractures, internal organs, in the chest and abdomen. While MRIs are superior for examining soft tissue details, like in the case of ligament injury or uh, brain uh, tumors and disorders. What are the risks and side effects of CT and MRI? With CT scans, there's minimal exposure to radiation like we've talked about. Most times though, the risk of not knowing and appropriately treating what's going on internally outweighs the small risk of radiation. MRI does not have any radiation exposure. However, an MRI scanner, the ring or a tube, you know, where the patient goes into to be scanned, is designed to be small and close to the patient to ensure a strong signal and clear images and also to keep everyone safe. So with MRI, some people may feel uncomfortable due to its smaller enclosed space, especially those with prior history of claustrophobia. Both CT and MRI may require contrast dye depending on what your doctor is looking for, which can cause mild reactions in some people. Reactions are even more rare with the MRI contrast dye. How do I prepare for my CT or MRI exam and what should I expect? For both CT and MRI, you might need to fast a few hours before the examination. Please confirm though with the specific location where your exam is going to be performed at least a day before. Remove any removable metal objects for an MRI. Don't worry, you usually go through a detailed screening process to determine what internal metals you have and if they are safe for an MRI. Bone implants are usually safe. Uh, soft tissue implants go through a, a more detailed screening to determine if they are safe or not. During a CT scan, expect to lie still as the machine takes images of you. It's pretty quick. And in an MRI, expect to also lie still, but this is a bit longer and uh, the, the machine is usually noisier. And there you have it. The top five questions I've gotten about CT scans and MRIs answered. Remember, your doctor will choose the best option based on your specific needs and your clinical picture. Stay informed and stay healthy. See you in the next video.